A few of you have asked about the Poundworld power banks. Now, Poundworld is the arch nemesis of Poundland in the UK. It's, it's another high profile pound shop. Uh, which is equivalent of a dollar store in America, but, but everything costs a pound instead. And that includes these little uh, lithium power banks, which is quite surprising, you know, for a pound. So um, I got some, and I have to say, when they first came out, I bought a couple, and they were not reliable. The, it was a different type to these, though. And as someone else has pointed out, uh, there's two versions. It, one has a flush case where it goes, it sits pretty much flat on the, the actual battery compartment, and the other one has the raised lip. The one with the flush case has a removable cell, it's just in little spring contacts, and the circuitry in it is just terrible. The chips, it, well, I bought two, and one was dead in arrival, the, the battery, the lithium cell in it was absolutely flat, and the other one, when I tried to test the current, the quiescent current, by putting a meter in series with it, it, the chip immediately went thermonuclear, it actually just went dead short circuit, which isn't very good. However, uh, th this seems to be a common thing that those uh, older ones did have problems. However, these ones are a completely different kettle of fish. For a start, they claim they're at 1,200 milliamp power and they can put one amp out. And they use a chip called a FM9833E by Superchip. And if you go online and do Google FM9833, you'll find that chip, certainly the Chinese data sheet, and you can pretty much work out what's involved. And it makes reference to the fact that it doesn't need a DW01 or the MOSFET package because this little chip in here has the function uh, that it can actually physically disconnect the cell completely. So one of my pet peeves of these little power banks is the fact that if you plug in, uh, say, an LED lamp that can run down below 3 volts, then when the battery runs low, uh, the lithium cell runs low, and uh, the boost converter drops out, then in the other ones it can still trickle current through the little inductor and it can basically di over-discharge the cell. However, this one is different. What actually happens when the battery runs low, the blue light lights to show it it's uh, driving a load, and then as the battery runs low, just before it cuts out, the blue light starts flashing, and then when it finally cuts out, it completely disconnects the cell. That's very good. The voltages it does this that, and these tallied up completely with the data sheet. The disconnection voltage uh, it cut out at two point nine volts on the button. It uh, stopped charging the cell at four point one nine volts, which is perfect again. And the standby current it stated was twenty microamps. I measured it at nineteen microamps, which is close enough, and that's also very good. However, the, these units have one slight drawback. Although they say it's a 1,200 milliamp cell that's inside, it's not. The one, it's a random, anonymous cell, and they seem to measure at different values. This one came out pretty well. This one came out at 995 milliamp power. This one didn't. This one came out at 710 milliamp power, from being completely flat to being fully charged. So they're not, you know, huge capacity. But having said that, uh, I really like this little circuit board. I mean, this is uh, pretty much following the manufacturer's data sheet for the production of the, the unit. And it does put out one amp. Uh, round about the one amp level, the voltage drops from a nice, crisp, perfect 5 volts. It drops to just 4.7, which is pretty good. Uh, although, having said that, yeah, I'm always a bit wary about over um, pushing these things too hard. So I would say, certainly given the capacity of the cell, that, you know low current charging things around about the sort of five or six hundred milliamp level are probably perfect for use with these. These would also be great for driving things like the little IKEA um, lights like this or the little uh, other little plug-in lights like this one. Perfect for power cuts perhaps. But yes, surprising, I, I do like that little chip, that's impressive, uh, that's definitely a big step forward. Um, and it's just a shame the capacity isn't quite up there, but then again, what do you expect for a pound?